Should Peter pay for Paul? That's the question left now with 14,000 investors owed $12 billion after they invested in a high-interest scheme that offered returns as high as 13% when banks and others were offering no higher than 3.14%. The Prime Minister is making it clear that such business deals with private entities had risks and that the government has no legal obligation to now bail them out. We must understand, Mr. Speaker, that Clico and BAT are private institutions. And after spending the $7.3 billion, the government is under no obligation to spend additional taxpayer funds related to this crisis. How does that sound? What does that mean? We don't care. What we are saying, we have no legal obligation to take more taxpayers' dollars to try to help those who have found themselves in this position, who have been placed into this position. She noted that it is only these 14,000 investors who are being affected by the $75 payment up front and a 20-year payment at no interest. The 225,000 traditional policyholders owed $6 billion are being paid in full. She told the House that CL Financial used the $12 billion it got from the attractive EFPA scheme to fund risky business of the parent body, hoping to get high returns to repay investors leading to the collapse. Now a commission of inquiry has been established on CL Financial and other financial institutions. Cabinet has decided, Mr. Speaker, to appoint a commission of inquiry, to have a commission of inquiry appointed into this financial crisis, the CL Financial Crisis. as well as the Hindu credit union crisis. And the Prime Minister is also questioning the former government's attempts to bail out Clico, saying that after an investment of $7 billion, there has been no real impact. She's asking where the money has gone and who was paid. What happened to that $7.3 billion? Where did it go? Who were, who were the people who were paid? How was it utilized, Mr. Speaker? What happened to that $7.3 billion? That was, the, that was the miracle bailout offered by the then government in 2009. The government was initially to bring to Parliament legislation on Clico that would have given special powers to the Attorney General, and she made it clear they have the majority to change things as they see fit, but she says the government wants to listen to the public first. We agreed to establish an interministerial committee of the Cabinet, a subcommittee of the Cabinet, to meet and engage in discussions with various stakeholders to take their views on board, Mr. Speaker. This interministerial subcommittee will be chaired by the Honourable Minister, Ms. Vassan Barrett. The Prime Minister says the offer on the table is the best one, and she insists litigation to force the hand of the state would only result in long delays and perhaps no money is being paid at all, as she again emphasized that the government has no legal commitment to repaying investors.